Hey, all right. It looks like we're live. Oh, it is really picking. Is our fan on one or two? It looks like it's really picking up the noise from our fan. Uh, it's on one. It yeah, it's yeah. I know it's hot in here. Yeah. If you guys hear anything, the or anything in the background, it's our fan. Um, yeah, because it's really hot. We have to turn off the air conditioner, or else you guys really wouldn't have been able to hear us. Well, we are going to be live streaming bad guy, uh, bad guy nonsense right here. Uh, we're going to be playing through it tonight. It's on Kickstarter now. Last time I checked, it was actually about $200 uh, from funding. It's, uh, it's on Kickstarter till about the, uh, no, the fan noise is really low. Thank you, Trimler. Um, but the, um, Kickstarter has till the 21st, if I remember correctly, um, yeah. All right. Can barely hear it. All right. Awesome. Maybe, maybe we can turn it up so it can be a little cooler. <laughs> We're like sweating bullets over here. Yeah. Okay. No, you won't. All right. So let's go ahead and get this started. If you guys hadn't seen our preview of bad guy nonsense, it's a card game in which you are trying to basically catch bad guys. That's the whole, uh, purpose of the game. The game has, um, has awesome artwork. So you can see, see some of it right here on there. Uh, so it's got yeah, awesome artwork by uh, Mark Renzo, the designer. Uh, let's see what Shane say. Sound wasn't working for me, but it was on my end. Just need to reload. Oh, okay. So let's see if we can get some more artwork to show here on the camera. So you guys out you can see all this great artwork. This is one of the special cards here, the Witch. Okay, so just for a recap, I know it's been a... It's been a little while since me and uh, me and Gothy played. There's there's multiple ways that you can make captures because on your turn you get to do one of three different things. You either get to capture a bad guy, discard a card, or you can play a special card like the like the witch that I uh, showed you earlier. Special cards have a have a little ability there on the bottom. You can say witchcraft Wanda right there. It says, uh, raise the dead. Wanda can take any card from the discard pile. So there are special cards in there that'll let you uh, do special things like that. Otherwise, you are uh, trying trying to capture bad guys. One of the ways that you can do that, let me pull some cards out real quick. Put a deck there. You, one of the ways you can capture a bad guy is you play the bad guy with another bad guy card that is the exact same one you can see here this is a uh, kung fu tusks so if you play kung fu tusks with another kung fu tusks that would count as a capture for you what's chum was saying does she have a pokemon no she does not have a pokemon who uh i guess the witch talking about the witch which one witchcraft wanda no no pokemon for witchcraft wanda this is a totally different game this is bad guy nonsense not playing pokemon so if you play a bad guy with the exact same bad guy, that counts as a capture and will go in front of you. Another way to capture a bad guy is to play him with any bounty hunter. So like this one, uh, the Venator. This counts as a capture and will go in front of you. Now you can also capture a bad guy by, if you see here, they have a lock on their card with a number on it. I'm trying to see the light glares on there. There's a four in the middle of that lock. So if you play a bad guy with the same number of lock on it, that will also count as a capture. And a uh, last way to capture a bad guy is if you play some locks that equal up to the number that's on the bad guy. Here you can see I have a, a yellow number two. So if I had a blue number two, that would also go with it. I know yellow was a really oh, bad idea for your thing. Yeah, you that. can't really see it. Yeah. But um, let's say I had a blue two and this yellow two. So that would total up to four. And one of them has to be the same color as the lock on the bad guy. There, that's a lot better. All right. Other than that, you could discard cards from your hands. And, um, yeah, I think we play until the deck runs out, right? Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. There are special, different special cards that let you steal captures from other people. They'll let you... Um, take cards out of their their hands they'll let you take captures there's a hero card that when you play it you can either stop somebody from playing a special card on you if it's in your hand or on your turn instead of uh, playing a capture you can play it as a special card to put it on top of one of your existing captures and that will kind of lock that capture in 
so that nobody can steal it from you uh, with a later special card. There are also cards in here called nonsense cards. And they are worth nothing. They do nothing during the game, they, but they are worth points at the end of the game. Because uh, ultimately, at the end of the game, you will total up all the points on the locks on the guys that are in front of you and the cards that are in front of you, and that will tell you who uh, who wins. One last shuffle, and then I'm going to deal me and Gothi. Um, six cards each. So we got the deck right here. We'll keep it so that everybody can see it, as well as uh, discards and everything. My, my captures I'll have to put right here because of camera. Got these captures to go over there. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Four. Right, right. How many cards? I lost track of cards because you started pointing, pointing at your camera over there. I lost track of cards. Or your phone, sorry. Your, your monitor. So we each have six. Actually, we're gonna turn this, turn this sideways, and then you draw up whatever you play during your turn. You draw up at the end of your turn. Make sure that's within reach of Gothi. Oh, we do not have any other questions going on. Feel free to put any of the questions you have in the uh, in the comments there. Um, Shane, if you could actually link to the Kickstarter, that would be awesome. Um, uh, do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? I want you to go you first. You want me to go first. All right. Okay. So I am going to uh, play a capture. I'm going to capture the trucks. Trucks right here. He's a one red with a one red lock. So that is my capture. And we'll go. I'm trying to get it in, in range. Oh, it's going to make the camera go uh, get a little bit crazy. But that is, that, is, that is my capture right here. Come on, camera. Don't go all focus, focus. And then, um, since that's, that's my, my action for the turn, then I draw back up to six cards and um, pass the turn to Gothi. Okay, so since I don't really have a great hand to start, I'm no. just going to discard right away uh, okay. my nonsense card. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they don't do anything. They're not worth anything during the game. Basically, at the end of the game, you kind of want to start hoarding them because any um, extra cards you have in your hand at the end of the game, like locks, don't count for anything. But any bad guys that you have in your hand at the end of the game are going to count for negative points. So she's going to do that, and then you, did you draw back up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you're you're looking at a bunch of you're looking at a bunch of nonsense right there. <laughs> um, let's go ahead. I am going to make. A uh, make a capture here. I got Kung Fu Tusks, and he is being uh, captured by Fox Bat One. So that is my second capture right there. I don't like how these these look on the camera. I'm gonna adjust them right there. All right. Yeah, the camera's going a little uh, a little out of focus. Thank you, Shane, for posting up that link uh, to there. Looks like the game is only $209 from being funded. Yeah. So um, anybody watching on Facebook or even if you're watching on Twitch, you go over to Facebook. If you can go to Logan Chops Reviews page and share this around to everybody uh, in all the different groups that you can, board gaming groups or just on your private page and everything so people can watch it, that would um, that would be great. Let's spread the word about uh, bad guy nonsense. And I forgot to draw up at the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. There you go, Gothi. Your turn. So, still working with a really difficult hand. I'm going to discard again. I'm just going to discard a bad guy. Oh, you're going to discard. Only worth one. Bad guy. Oh, and I should say that whenever whenever you you make a capture, when you draw back up, you get to choose to draw from the deck or from the discard. But only when you make a capture can you choose to do that. Could I have a mulligan? Can you, can you mulligan? Um, I don't know. It's not in the rules. But here, let's see if I can get through some of the, the the bad cards in there. So I'm gonna capture this bad guy right here. Was he Chump Chef? Chump Chef. Um, and he's getting captured with a a one purple lock, right there. And then when I draw up, I get to draw back up for making a capture. I'm gonna draw one card from the discard and one card from the deck. So I'm back up to six cards, and it is Gothi's turn now. 
Still discarding. Still discarding. I'm gonna discard a seven since uh, that's not gonna happen. Oh, oh, that bad guy. Who is that? That is an uh, aqua monster. She no, discards an okay. aqua aqua right. monster. Okay, go. No. Is it just me? Is it is it uh is it blurry on your screen over there, or is it oh, actually it's on your phone? Yeah, can you actually see? I see stuff. It's not clear. No. Oh. I mean, it's a small screen. Yeah. But I just I wanted to make sure it's a, it's going in and out on the computer. All right. Well, let's see. Okay. Looks like I really don't have anything. Even though I grabbed that truck from the discard there in time, I, I can't uh, I can't capture him right now. So let's go ahead. I'm going to I'm going to discard a four lock for my turn and draw back up. So your turn. Finally able to do something. Hey. To capture this bad guy with the six. Okay, oh, yeah. he's a six locks. What's the name of the bad guy? Uh, an ape named Manny. Oh, let me get a little close. Uh, yeah, Shane's saying it is. It is quite blurry. Other than when we get it close, because we have so much stuff going on on the table. Let's see if we can actually uh, lower it down a little bit to get it closer. Just try to uh, try to get it to focus a little bit. Let's go ahead and um, right. yeah. Don't don't mind us. Technical difficulties while we're adjusting the camera. Just got to pull it down. Yeah, I think it's just because we have them so far apart from everything else that it's causing it to be blurry on the camera. Hold on, let me see if I can do it from over here. And we'll see about how close we can get it that way. All right, so that's not as bad. Just the stuff on the on the outer edges is, uh, is a little blurry, but you can see the stuff right here. We're just going to make sure that we get it uh, close to the camera when we're showing it or in frame. All right, did you draw back up? Oh, no. Oh, you can draw up from either the discards or the uh, the deck for making that capture. I'm going to draw one from the discards. Hmm. And one okay. from the deck. Oh, yeah, when you put your hand in the middle of it, it uh, actually oh, refocused it really well. Yes, thank Ta -da! you. Ta-da! Magical gothy hands. <laughs> Ew. All right. Ew. Make, um, are you using palm olive? Uh, Dish liquid to wash this. Uh, Make your hands all nice and soft. Drying my hands out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to discard a four lock and draw for my turn. It's done. Yes. I. So far, if anybody's keeping track, I'm in the lead. I have four, five, six points on the board. We're Gothi has six. Also, actually, we're both uh, we're both tied. Um, not counting whatever negatives we would have from our hands. Kung Fu. Oh, Kung Fu Tusks. All right. And She's capturing four. it with a four lock. So now I'm at ten. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Uh, looks are my turn. After you draw up. Uh, Gothi fix the cam. Let's see if Logan's hand blurs it again. Yeah, seriously. I'm going to discard another another four lock and draw. So it is your turn, Gothi. Um. Here, okay. So that's a special card. She's playing a special card on her turn. It's called Lollipop uh, Leader, and she's using it to lock in her six uh, bad guy, her six point bad guy, so that I can't play a special card and steal it from her. So that was a pretty smart move. You could also use that hero card during your turn, like if I was trying to play a special card against her for anything else, she could play that hero to I negate it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see, my turn. I am going to, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, yeah. I'm going to uh, discard a yellow three lock and, and draw. Oh. All right. Mm. Uh, Captain Sorbet. Captain Sorbet. It's a two Sorbet. red. Two. Yep. Oh, nope. he died. Are you trying to get the Sorbet with the Chump Chef? Yeah, chump this? Chef? Yeah. With a two red lock? <laughs> The chump chef, to the sorbet with the chef trying to cook the ice cream over there. The sorbet. Mmm. Wouldn't an everlasting gobstopper be a much more effective weapon than a lollipop? Oh no, that's a giant lollipop. If you can see that giant lollipop she has there, to to beat somebody. I don't know. Everlasting gobstopper. Maybe you just would punch somebody, or and you just throw it at them. If you attach two of them with a rope, it could be like a bola, and go around and. Something like that? No? No? Dorothy doesn't like me. Okay. So, um, for my turn, I'm going to play a special card of my own. 
This one is Monster. It's the unspeakable. And uh, the monster eats an opponent's bad guy capture of my choosing. So I am going to make it eat the Kung Fu Tusks right here. So she will have to discard Kung Fu Tusks and the lock or whatever she used to capture it herself. Mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah. And then I get to draw back up one card. Your turn. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh... Professor Ch Chomp. Chomp. Professor, uh, Professor N. Chomp. Yeah. Uh, okay. With a three yellow lock. Yep. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, did uh, did you go? <laughs> you just go poaching on live stream? I didn't. I didn't poach. The monster. I didn't put, the monster killed the other stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, I got this trucks guy right here. Trucks with a uh, with a one red lock. And I put him right below my other trucks that I captured right there. And I get to draw up two. So I'm going to draw the Kung Fu Tusks from there and draw one from here. Oh. My turn? Your turn. Okay. I'll remember if I can do this or not. All right. So, um, an eight named Manny for six. An eight named Manny. He was a six blue. Okay. With my uh, bounty hunter named Judd. Judd, yes. Yes, that was one of the ways. Yeah, any bounty hunter with uh, with your monster. All right. Actually, if you want to move those down a little bit towards the table, you can see there. That's fine. Okay, and then you can draw. Since you made a capture, you can draw from either the discards or the, uh, the deck, a card combination. All right. All right. So I um, I had that Kung Fu Tusks, and I also had one in my hand. So I am capturing it. There's one way to capture. You can play both of them, and then when we count points, this will count for eight points. Four for for each one of them. Whereas the ones we capture with locks will only count for the 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 points in the locks on the actual bad guy card. So this is actually eight points locked in right there. They're not locked. I gotta play a hero card or something. Let's go ahead and what am I gonna do? Let's let's draw from the deck. Two. All right. So, uh, bad guy PJ for five. Yeah, PJ. Yeah. Well, you can start another row below it. Okay. It's yeah. I know. After I get this one, I'm gonna have to start this way. All right. All right. If you're on the live stream, let us know you're there. If you're watching, go ahead and uh, comment. Let us know what you like about the, the game we're playing. You know, uh, if you're funding the Kickstarter, you know, go ahead and uh, talk to us a little bit so that we don't have to talk to each other while we're playing. Oh, thanks. Nah. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, yeah. So much love. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to discard a one yellow lock and drop from the deck for my turn. Okay, your turn, Gothic. Yep. All right, trucks for one. Oh, go with a one red. One red. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you just start yeah. stacking them on top of each other like that. Yeah, so you can see. All right. Uh, capture all the bad. Hey, Michael. Yeah, capture all the bad guys. Uh, Trimble, but we like hearing you go, slowly go insane. Yeah, I know. That's what uh, what comes with me. Uh, we're talking. Yeah, with just me. Yeah, not even me talking to you. With just me. So, Michael Wright is in the chat on Facebook. Thanks for joining us, Michael. If you don't know Michael, he is the unfiltered gamer. He does live streams on uh, his Facebook page every Wednesday at 6 or 6.30. Um, I don't know who he has this week, um, but it's every Wednesday night, 6.30 or 6 or 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. And he always has uh, great people. He's got his wife Callie with him. And they, they cover a lot of great games and do a lot of great playthroughs. And they give away games during their live streams also. So you might want to uh, check that out Wednesday nights uh, at either 6 or 6.30. I'm pretty sure he'll probably put it in the chat here in a second. Um, okay, for my turn. Back to my turn. We're going to discard a four yellow lock and draw a card. Okay, there you go. My turn? Yes. Uh, two Professor Chomps. 
I'm Team Professor. Oh, so locking them in. How many points is each one worth? Three. Three points each, so that's six points right there. Nice. Uh, let's see. Michael says Japan Anime Games is sponsored this week. And oh, thanks for the plug. Yeah, no problem, man. I always like to, to give people bumps whenever they come on here. Um, and hopefully, once all this uh, pandemic stuff is over, we'll actually get to get together at one of these conventions and sit down and play a game together. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, Trimbler said, you need to get a new sponsor logo uh, from Ion. It's showing up as black on black for me. Oh, okay, yeah, we're working on redesigning the info stuff and like that on, um, on the Twitch page. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we deleted off the, uh, giveaway geek one. I did that earlier and then we got, we're doing other stuff and stuff. Yeah. So we're redesigning it and it'll show up now. Yeah. So the secret about Logan's sanity is that he's not, uh, he's not going there. He just takes short vacations into sanity as just returning to his natural state. Yeah. Yeah. Naturally insane. Uh, parents had the certification for when I was a kid. Yeah. Anyway. Let's see what Gothi has over here. Here you go. Hey, quit hiding your numbers underneath uh, underneath your guys. Right. Um, yeah. Because I can't see if you hide them underneath there. But didn't you just say you had six points worth of them? I got that. Okay. I, for my turn, I'm going to play a special card. I'm going to play Burglars, which lets me steal a bad guy capture of an opponent. So I'm actually going to steal uh, this one right here. Unless you have a hero card to play and stop me. Nope. I get the steal one with the burglar card. I now have an ape named Manny. <laughs> All right. And then I get to draw back up. I would love to draw that burglar, but I'm not going to. I'm going to draw this uh, card right here. Like, sounds good. I'm always happy to play games with anyone. Yeah, yeah. It's like we, we don't live that far from each other, but we live far enough that it is a, a journey <laughs> from Central Valley to Southern Cali. Um... The Session Zero logo always looks good, though. Yeah, Session Zero does look good. We have a bunch of their T-shirts. i got to get people to send me their pictures of them wearing it. What are you playing, Gothi? Discarding. Discarding a nonsense card. Are you sure? We're getting pretty close to the end. Nonsense might be one of the ones you wanted uh, to keep. The deck's almost out. No, it's fine. No? All right. I am going to uh, play a hero card. Special one of Awesome Sauce Alex. I like to believe that this card is a grown-up version of my grandson, Alex. It's Awesome Sauce Alex. That's what I'm going to call him. We're going to use that to lock in my eight-point uh, Kung Fu Tusks that I have there. I smell a plan from Gothi. Eh, possibly, possibly. Nope. Draw back up. Mike, go ahead, Gothi. Discarding. Discarding. She's discarding. Mmm. Found a pocket. Found a, found a pocket. Pocket of lockets? Yeah. Pocket of lockets. I'm going to uh, discard a red too. Let's see. Pocket of lockets? Possibly. Your, your turn, Gothi. Yeah, we're getting down to the last little bit. As soon as the deck runs out, that's when the game ends. We'll show you how to total up points and everything. Okay. You good? Guess so. Guess so. That's not a good sign. Um, I'm going to dump a green one. Okay. I got a pocket of something right Captain now. Captain Sorbet. Captain Sorbet. Get caught with the Malice Ver. <laughs> Malice Ver. Nice. She's totaling up some points. Hey, she's got her stuff. She's covering up her stuff like that. I can't see points over there. I have quite no space. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's throw oh, out a... Oh, you didn't draw up. Okay, hurry up because I'm discarding. I'm going to discard a red one. And then I'm going to draw from the deck right here. All right. Okay, and it's your turn again. <laughs> I'm going to play Witch. Oh, Witch, Witch is Witch. That lets you grab any card from the discards. Yeah. Yep, so she's got to pick up that whole discard pile right there. And, of course, the Witch card, even though she's playing it, it does not uh, go into the discard pile until after she chooses her card to bring out. So it is not available for her to just go, oh, I'm just going to grab the witch back. Which wouldn't make any sense anyway to grab the witch. Um, okay, so she has a card. Uh, Tatiana, it looks like my daughter popped in on the Facebook stream. So Alex says he wants to play. Okay, well, maybe one of these times when we get together, we'll let Alex, uh, Alex play as long as he decides not to bend the cards because he's three years old, Tatiana. So, <laughs> Let's see, I am going to throw out a three yellow and draw this card here. All right. 
Alright, so found the seven monster uh oh, nice. aqua monster. Aqua that monster. I had, I had to discard earlier and using my bounty hunter seraph to catch it. Oh seraph, nice, nice. It's always good. Draw. And then you draw up. You don't want to grab that three yellow no, rock? No, 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 you don't no, want to draw that? No, oh, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, so I'm going to discard a green three lock and draw. All right. Uh, discarding a three. Uh, a three red. I'm drawing up. All right, I'm going to play a... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to play a bandit. That lets me grab a random card from an opponent's hand. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a, a random one from Gothi's hand. And spread out your six cards, please. And just so everybody at home knows, I grabbed that. But I don't know. Quit looking at the screen, <laughs> Gothi. What do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. I saw you looking at the screen when I was yeah, doing that. Yeah, I watched you pull it out of my uh, okay, hand. Like yeah, I knew go, what you drew. go. I'm trying All to right. see what I'm showing everybody at home. You're not so, supposed to look at your own hand. Bad guy, uh, PJ again. P PJ again. These bad guys keep breaking out. You have to go, uh... Caught with the bounty hunter. Okay. Yep, what bounty hunter? Uh, the venator. Venator. The venator. The venator. The venator. Drawing. Mm-hmm. I have to draw three since you took the one. Ah, uh, oh well. I'm going to discard a two blue lock. And is this the last card? Yes. I will draw it into, uh, my hand. Okay. So now here's how this goes. So any captures that we have in our hands that we could possibly make, we could put them down into our, our tableau here of different cards. Um, I do not have any. <laughs> Would a hero do anything? Um, no, hero can't use to, no, isn't used to, um, to capture anything. Right. So any special cards and any locks we have in our hands, they're basically just going to get discarded because they're not used for points, positive or negative, either way. So your hero... Is it all... You have all locks except for the hero? Okay. Yeah, the hero I just... So, here, so all your cards get, get thrown there. So now any bad guys, well, and let's say any bad guys that you have left in your hand count as negative points. So I've got nine points worth of negative here since I wasn't able to capture them and they were stuck in my hand. But... Basically, I have three nonsense cards left in my hand, which give me one point each. So this three is going to negate out three of the nine. So I'll only have negative six, basically, to my points. So now we count up all the, um, the numbers on our bad guy locks, the only the bad guy locks of our, of our captures. So let's see. I've got one. Five, so that's six right there in the first row. Uh, seven. Seven plus eight is fifteen. Fifteen plus six is twenty-one. Minus my six points from my bad guys that were still in my hand. I have a score of fifteen. These are double. Yeah, you count both of them. Were those double fives? Three. Oh, double threes. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, right. 34. Yeah, uh, 34. 34 points? 34 points to my 15. So, yeah, look at all those. Tra oh, this one also stays, yeah. still stays over there. That one still stays over there. Your, your hero doesn't. All your bounty hunters, all that stuff. Yeah. Liz wins. Liz wins. Good job, Gothi. Woo! Yeah. 34 points uh, to my 15. All right, everybody. So that is bad guy nonsense. We expected this to take the playthrough to take longer, um, but it looks like it only took 30 minutes because uh, that's how we roll. Or, Liz wins. or flip. Yeah, because Liz wins, I guess. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, to our bad guy nonsense uh, playthrough. It is over on Kickstarter now. Yeah, we all knew she, <laughs> she would all along. Seriously. It's on Kickstarter now. Um, go help get it back. Go spread the word about the Kickstarter. Um, pledge on it. It's it's only... I don't know how, how little the first pledge... I think it's only like $15 or $20, something like that. It's not that bad. It's for, it's for two to four players, ages eight and up. Plays in about 20 minutes. 
There's the link on Twitch. If you're on Twitch, Shane just put the link on Twitch to the Kickstarter. Um, it's got it's got wonderful artwork. I don't know how much you can see, especially when the the camera starts going in and out. But look, this artwork is beautiful. That is on here. The art is a developer made. Yeah, the developer drew these. He's been drawing um, this artwork and designing this since he was in high school. Mark is a is awesome. No, the the ten dollar pledge is just to follow along. It's just a suggested price. What's the actual pledge for the game chain? I think it's like I think it's like fifteen or twenty one dollars. It's the next one after that. Oh, um, Dothy actually got it to me on her phone. Let me look under rewards. Yeah. Oh, twenty eight dollars. Yeah, you get the game. Bad guy nonsense. Twenty eight dollars. Yeah, that that ten dollar pledge. That's uh, just pledging without a reward, so you don't get a copy of the game. Twenty eight dollars. There you go. Shane got it too. So yeah, it's not that bad. You get these 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 oversized cards. They they're they're like the, I think uh, whenever I first did it, they're like they're the size of like two magic cards put together. You know, you can't really see it too it's too big on deck. here. Tarot, huh? tarot yeah, tarot size deck. The artwork by Mark is beautiful. He's been working on it since he uh, he was in high school, drawing a lot of these. They're they're, they're reminiscent a lot of your your favorite superheroes and stuff like this. One reminds me of Drax, as well as a couple other people from uh, from comics. Um, there there was one that uh, I saw a picture of one. Yeah, this one reminds me of not only uh, Ultron. But also of uh, Iron Man and a little bit of Wolverine. Well, with the with the armor, actually, kind of the the bodysuit reminds me a lot of like Aquaman, old school Aquaman. We had the green with the yellow gauntlets. Yeah, you know, a lot. Of the artwork is beautiful. Go check it out. Spread it around on Facebook and any other social media um, to help get the word out. These last couple days of the campaign. And um, yeah, well. Um, Oh, hold on. Here, this this guy reminds me of Draxy more. Mount Mal Malice Ver. Yeah. Look, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Anyway, the Gothy's laughing at me over here. No, you just reminded me of the the uh, infomercial guy that used to sell the knives like late at night when we were kids. But look at that. Look at that handle. <laughs> no, that look at that handle. <laughs> look at that handle. <laughs> All right, well, this is in our uh, our live playthrough of Bad Guy Nonsense. It's by ST and N Games. Uh, Mark Renzo, uh, awesome artwork, awesome game. Easy to play, easy to teach, easy to pick up. It also I didn't show you, but it also comes with um, these cards here for the rules. I think it's like sixty four cards in the game, but then it's got like eight rule rule cards with it. Plus a ninth one with a little scanner, so you can just scan it for the rules if you don't want to read through all the cards. But yeah, it's a, it's a great little card game, great family game, easy easy to play. But it's not that that hard to to pick up. So go check it out. Um, we'll see you next time. We're gonna go ahead and uh, sign off now. But we'll we'll see you next time here on our uh, live stream. Uh, make sure yeah to pledge the Kickstarter and make sure to go over to Unfiltered Gamers page. Go ahead and hit like over there. And um, uh, go tune into his live stream tomorrow night at uh, six thirty. He's got from where he said J Japan anime yeah, games sponsored this week. Yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna be playing some great games and usually giving away some games depending on what they've got uh, extra. So make sure you check him out tomorrow at uh, at six thirty Pacific Standard Time, six thirty p.m. And as always, happy gaming. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.